That now to our other big story. In a blow to Republican ambitions tonight, Democrats have won control of the U.S. Senate. That's right. Despite long odds, they did it with a razor-thin win in Nevada, where Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Masto was reelected. Kate Tilly's John Finolio has all the details. It's official. Democrats will control the Senate. The party's victory following a razor thin race in Nevada. Incumbent Democrat Catherine Cortez Masto edging out Republican challenger Adam Laxalt, who was endorsed by former President Trump. Arizona also delivering a Democratic victory. I'm so honored that Arizona has entrusted me to represent our state in the United States Senate for six more years. <laughs> Arizona incumbent Senator Mark Kelly celebrating his reelection win Saturday after defeating Republican Blake Masters, a businessman also backed by Trump. The American people rejected the anti democratic, extremist MAGA Republicans. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer telling reporters late Saturday the GOP is out of touch with American voters. We staunchly defended a woman's right to choose. We knew that the negativity, the nastiness, the condoning of Donald Trump's big lie and saying that the elections were, were rigged when there's no proof of that at all would hurt the Republicans, not help them. Yet too many of them and their candidates fell into those traps. Meantime, control of the House remains uncertain, but Republicans appear poised to clinch the 218 seats needed to secure a majority. The GOP currently needs seven seats to win. Democrats need 17. All eyes now on the Senate runoff race in Georgia between incumbent Raphael Warnock and Republican Herschel Walker. The contest will determine whether the Democrats' 50-50 majority becomes a 51-seat majority. The race is scheduled for December. I'm John Finolio, KTLA 5 News. And here locally, new numbers in today in the race for L.A. mayor. With 67% of the vote now counted, Karen Bass has expanded her lead over rival Rick Caruso. Bass now has a 9,400 vote lead, but with thousands of votes still left to be counted, it's still too close to call. Kind of a different story, though, in the race for Los Angeles County Sheriff. Former Long Beach Police Chief Robert Luna maintains a commanding lead over incumbent Alex Villanueva. Luna leading by more than 259,000 votes at this point. And be sure to stay with KTLA as we monitor all the key races. And remember, you can get the latest results on all the midterm election races and issues online at KTLA.com and on the free KTLA 5 app. All right.